good morning students we are discussing on water resource engineering and hydrology we are learning about groundwater hydrology well in previous lecture we have discussed about dupuit's theory that is on the discharge for the steady flow in the well of unconfined aquifer now in today's session we will discuss about the same that is well hydraulics theory of dupuits that is for the steady state flow to the wells in the confined aquifer well before starting the lecture let me recall you what is aquifer and the confined aquifer so aquifer is a kind of geological formation which allow the water to flow through it as well as it allows the movement of the water well this is known as the aquifer now talking about the confined aquifer confined aquifer is a sandwich between two impermeable layer it is generally known as the pressure aquifer and artesian aquifer okay these are like completely filled with the water as you can see in this figure that this confined aquifer is completely filled with the water okay and then do not have a free water table because the above surface is also impermeable and the bottom surface is also having the impermeable layer so generally it does not contain any free water table so if we need to find out the discharge for such kind of aquifer first of all as deputes have assumed that the flow in this aquifer is laminar and we all know that for the laminar flow we can use the darcy's law okay so from the darcy's law the flow crossing a vertical plane to a point p which is been calculated by q is equals to k ax into ix well here also the area of flow would be 2 pi x but here we could not use the value of y because here vertical height of confined aquifer is b so the area of flow would be considered for this width only so ax is equals to 2 pi x b so ix is equal to hydraulic gradient at particular point p okay and that is divided by dx okay now let's put the value of ax and ix into the darcy's law formula so q is equals to 2 pi x b dy by dx now let's separate the term uh, that is regarding to x at your left hand side so q into dx upon x is equals to 2 pi k into b into dy so here this discharge is for only a particular point p now if we need to find out the discharge for whole well okay so for that we need to take the integration okay so now we need to take the integration that integration between the limit small r to the capital r for that x term and for height as a vertical directions okay so that is from small h to the capital h as mentioned over here okay so taking integration q that integration from small r to capital r dx upon x that will be equals to 2 pi k b now here 2 pi k is constant but with that also that the width of that aquifer is also remain constant throughout the calculation so 2 pi k b would be taking as a constant and the integration of dy would be only y and the integration of 1 by x that would be log x so q into log x r to r that is 2 pi kb y from small h to capital h now if we apply the limits q is equals to 2 pi kb capital h minus small h upon log 
R upon R base E. Now, this E base, if we convert it into the base 10, then the value would be 2.72K into B, capital H minus small h, into log R upon R base 10. Now, here, from the figure, you can see that capital H minus small h is the drawdown. So, the drawdown is S. So, the final is 2 0.72 k b into s upon log r upon r base 10 well here this product of k into b is nothing but the coefficient of transmissibility that can be denoted as the capital t if in the example the value of k and b is not given then there must be the coefficient of transmissibility value would be given okay so that will be applicable in the example 2 so for that q is equals to 2.72 t into s upon log r upon r base 10 well if that is a two different observation well so for that case if h1 and h2 are the measured depth of water in two observation wells as shown in this figure that is re situated radially at r1 and r2 distance the discharge equation would be 2.72 k into b h2 minus h1 upon log r2 upon r1 base 10 here also we can apply the coefficient of transmissibility in the case of or as a replacement of b into k okay now let's see an example that is related to the well hydraulics okay the question is a well of 10 centimeter dia that is fully penetrates a confined aquifer so here the case number two will be applicable that is for the confined aquifer okay now the depth of 25 meter the drawdown in the well is 3 meter now if the hydraulic conductivity of the aquifer is 45 meter per day we have to calculate the transmissibility of aquifer and the discharge from the well here we need to assume the radius of zero drawdown as a 300 meter this is the complete example now here we have to find out transmissibility and the discharge we know the value of discharge as well as we know the formula to find out the transmissibility transmissibility that is k into b now before starting solving this example let list down the given data well here the value of hydraulic conductivity that is the k is 45 meter per day now here we need to convert this meter per day into the second so for that 45 that would be divided by 24 into the seconds that is 3600 per day hour is 24 and per hour the second is 3600 so the k value that is 5.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 meter per second well the next thing that is given is the depth of confined aquifer that is 25 meter then after also the value of drawdown is given and the drawdown of well is 3 meter so s is equals to 3 meter radius of zero drawdown is also given that is capital r is 300 meter well the diameter of well is given but we need the radius of the well that is small r so small r would be 10 by 2 so 5 centimeter but here all the values are given in the meter so we have to convert this value into meter so r would be 0 0.05 meter well here we have list down the given data now we just need to apply 
this values into the formulas so first we have to find out the transmissibility okay that is b into k 25 into 5.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 so transmissibility is equals to 0 0.013 meter cube per second so now to find out the discharge we have the formula that is q is equals to 2.72 k into b into s upon log r upon r base 10 here we can also use the value of t as a b into k okay now also in this in this formula we have used the log r upon r just because we are given with the data of a single well if in case there is a data of different two different well then at that moment we need to apply the formula as a log r2 upon r1 base 10 okay now substitute the values in this formula that is 2.72 into k as a 25 b as a 5.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 the drawdown as a 3 and capital r 300 and small r is 0 0.05 so we will get the value of discharge as 0 0.028 meter cube per second okay so this is the example that is related to the confined aquifer now one example we will uh, solve for the unconfined aquifer question is an unconfined aquifer has a thickness of 30 meter and the fully penetrating 20 centimeter dia of well and that is pumped at the rate of 35 liter per second the drawdown measured in two observation wells that is located at a distance of 10 meter and 100 meter from the well and the drawdown are 7.5 meter and 0.5 meter respectively here we need to determine the average hydraulic gradient of the aquifer and with that also at what distance from the well the drawdown is insignificant so insignificant that is zero drawdown okay so at last we have to find out the value of r so first we have to find out the value of hydraulic conductivity that is k and then we will find out the value of r so before that let's list down the given data well here the value of capital h that is the thickness of unconfined aquifer that is 30 meter now the drawdown measured at the observation wells that are located at the distance 10 meter and the 100 meter so r1 is 10 and r2 is 100 well with that also they have mentioned the drawdown values that is 7.5 and 0.5 meter okay the value of small h1 that is capital h minus s1 the value of h that is the thickness of the unconfined aquifer is 30 and the drawdown first drawdown that is 7.5 meter so small h1 is equal to 22.5 same way small h2 that is equals to 29.5 the discharge value is also given as a 35 liter per second okay now this is the liter per second now we have to convert this value into meter cube per second so the discharge that is 0 0.035 meter cube per second well to find out the value of k we have to apply the discharge formula q is equals to 1.36 into k h2 square minus h1 square upon log r2 upon r1 base 10 here we have used this formula just because the aquifer that is unconfined aquifer now substitute the values we can find out the value of k that is 7.07 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter per second that will give you the value of hydraulic conductivity now to find out the value of zero drawdown that is the distance from the well 
where the drawdown is insignificant. So we are given with the two different wells and for that discharge is Q is equals to 1.36 K H square minus H square upon log R upon R by 10. Now for here the value differs as a H value but the discharge is 35 liter per second that is common. So now if we equate this to discharge we have 30 square minus 22.5 square upon log r by 10 base 10 because for the first well the value of small r that is 10 and for the second case the small r value that is 100 now here the log r upon 100 base 10 is equal to we are making subject as this value that will be equals to 0 0.0755 log r upon 10 base 10 so if we simplify this logarithmic equation we can have r upon 100 is equals to r raised to 0 0.0755 upon 1.189 now r upon r raised to 0 0.0755 is equals to 100 by 1.189 if we simplify this term we get r is equals to 100 upon 1.189 raised to 1 by 0 0.9245 at last finally we can able to find out the insignificant drawdown okay so this was about the example based on well hydraulics thank you so much students for your kind attention i hope you understand the topic thoroughly i will see you in the next lecture